expresses investigative series on Chinese snooping. It has been revealed that more than 6,000 Indians accused of financial crime, terrorism, IPL betting, narcotics and smuggling are also being watched by China. China is not only monitoring these prominent Indian personalities, other high-profile entrants too are in Zhenhua's radar. From the accused in the Augusta Westland bribery case to hundreds accused of financial crime, corruption, terror, organization links are under China's surveillance program. Among these high-profile personalities is Congress President Sonia Gandhi's son-in-law, Robert Vadra. His company, Skylight Hospitality Private Limited, is being probed by the Enforcement Directorate. Former Karnataka Chief Minister H.D. Kumaraswamy, who was accused of illegally denotifying a prime plot to benefit his relatives, and former Jharkhand Chief Minister Madhu Koda, who was named in a red corner notice in a money laundering case. Beijing has kept a close watch on several Indian criminals too over the years. This list includes names of the Indian fugitive Daud Ibrahim, members of the Jamaat ul Mujahideen, operatives of People's Liberation Front of India, who were held in Chhattisgarh in 2013, and militants of Democratic Front of Bodoland are all on Chinese radar. Then there are certain high-profile corruption cases that China has been snooping on from the companies founded by friends of and family of former Satyam Group chairman Ramalinga Raju to the fodder scam corruption scandal and the Vyapam scam involving Madhya Pradesh Professional Examination Board. All are under China's radar. I know that this company has already made a response saying that the report has no truth in it at all. The company also said that um, it is a private company. Its customers are research institutes and business groups. It does not collect data. It only group um, this data together because all of its data are open on the Internet. I want to stress that China is a staunch guardian of cyber security. China opposes and, uh, and uh, cracks down on all forms of cyber crimes. China stands ready to enhance dialogue and cooperation with all countries to ensure a peaceful, secure, open and cooperative cyberspace. It seems that China has something big in mind in recent, uh, its recent feuds with multiple nations, including border standoffs with India, are perhaps just smaller fries in an otherwise elaborate scheme.